Well, this is going to be a more practical application on how to sculpt chainmail onto green stuff using actual green stuff on an actual figure. Uh, using the smallest burnishing, burnishing tool I have, we're actually going to apply the same texture from above here. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of water to keep my tool nice and lubricated because otherwise it's going to stick really bad and you don't want that when you're trying to create a consistent pattern. So again, one impression and up and you do that in a succession and that's really it. Okay, um, There is no difference from this smaller application from the larger application. It's just a series of movements in a line. It's okay with chainmail if it doesn't look perfect. Remember when a lot of chainmail, especially if you're working on fantasy figures, when a lot of chainmail was done, um, these are blacksmiths creating it human hands, so it's not like it's perfect in the first place. So you can see a nice succession of rings going back and forth, interlocking, using the exact same pattern that we used in the larger clay with the larger tool. So that's really it. That's the basics of sculpting chainmail. Have at it, folks.